before before we actually take nominations for the uh, congressional 12th congressional seat, we're going to hear from the gentleman who occupies it currently. Good evening, Somerset Democrats. I'm sorry I can't be with you this evening at the Somerset County Convention. There are votes in the House, so I have to be in Washington. I wish I could be there with you. As you know, a few weeks ago I announced that I will not be running for re-election to the House this year. As I said in my statement that day, it's been and remains an immense honor for me to represent the people of New Jersey's 12th District. I first ran for office because I believe that government can be a positive force in our lives to build community and to increase individual opportunity. I ran for office because I believe that a representative can build confidence in our self-government by providing conscientious service so that every person knows that she or he has a voice and a stake in our country. After nearly two decades in public life, I believe these things even more strongly. I've been taught by the wisdom of my constituents and am as hopeful as ever about the strength of our community, our constitution, and our country. There's so many people in the room tonight that I'm proud to count as supporters, but more importantly, as friends. The Somerset Democrats have always been excellent partners, and I've been fortunate to work with so many great Somerset County elected officials and party leaders. Our chair, Peg Schaefer, our excellent state legislative delegation, our dedicated municipal leaders, and our hardworking committee women and committee men. Many of you here will remember the earlier days back when no one thought that a Democrat could win this district, let alone hold it for eight terms. Maurice Cannell, the Paley's, Barb Devaney, so many others of you made phone calls, put up signs, talked with our friends and neighbors about the kind of representative, uh, the kind of representative they wanted in Congress. We rallied, fundraised, canvassed, endured nail-biting election days and nights together. Whenever I asked for support, you were there to provide it, and I'm profoundly grateful. Thank you. This is a goodbye. As I said at the beginning, I'm currently in Washington on your behalf, and I intend to continue to try to meet the high standards that you expect from your congressional representative. I wish the best of luck to all the candidates this evening. There are excellent candidates. They are passionate, they are smart, they are organized, they are ready to run and ready to win. I look forward to seeing all of you soon and working to help you choose the next representative from the 12th Congressional District. We're gonna miss it. 